setting it so the molecules in the room are vibrating different than the molecules outside. And going over today's science file. What exactly is temperature? Well, it's an awesome question. Try the... You'll need a glass jar, a balloon, some scissors, a straw, and some tape. Today, I'm going to show you how to make what some people call a barometer. But a barometer, it is not. But I am going to show you how to make a wicked cool air thermometer right at home. So start by getting yourself a rubber balloon. Oh yeah, and, and a pair of, you know, scissors. You know, you're going to find it hard to cut the neck off without them. Look at all right, so stretch this piece over the top of your glass jar. Oh yeah, and by the way, make sure that little nipple piece is, you know, on the inside of the jar, you know, unless you like your nipple sticking out. Right. If you have one of these little bendable straws, you're going to cut that bendy piece off. And you're going to tape the end of your straw to the middle of your balloon. Now, I'm going to show you why this is not a barometer. But first, we got to pop this in our freezer for five minutes. atmospheric pressure, but instead temperatures. To understand temperature, you have to understand heat energy. Heat energy is how fast or slow molecules are vibrating. Temperature is actually the measurement of the speed at which molecules are vibrating. When you place the glass jar in the freezer, you chill the glass rather quickly, which steals heat energy from the air molecules inside the jar. This slows the air molecules vibrating on the inside of the jar, which means the air molecules won't bounce off the balloon as hard, and the balloon will contract inside the jar. When you place the jar on the frying pan, the frying pan heats up the jar, which passes some of its heat energy into the air molecules. The air molecules inside start vibrating faster and faster, creating more energy which bounces on the balloon hard enough to cause the balloon to expand outwards. Since the air pressure is exactly the same in the room as it is in the kitchen and basically in the freezer, the balloon shouldn't expand and contract as much as it does. Real thermometers use mercury instead of air. Mercury has a consistent expansion and contraction rate every single time we use it. Real barometers are made of metals or liquids. These materials are used because they are less susceptible to temperature fluctuations. So now you know that temperature is just different speeds of molecules. You know, making your own air thermometer right at home is why science is so cool.